This is how to use the ArbiterSports.com online software. And so you can go here to accept games. And this is also how we track pay. So this will become an important website for you. As you can see here, we'll go to schedule. This is where all your old games will be if you're on the show all view, like I am now. And when you take that off, it will bring up only recent assignments for you. You'll come here and you'll accept games. It can show me when I accepted this game. And there'll be an option here, green for accept, red for decline. And you want to accept or decline a game as soon as possible. So your assigners will appreciate that. Now we can go on here. If I want to see who I'm reffing with a particular day, I can just click on the game. And I'll always make sure to contact them. So there is Paul's contact info. So I'd always make sure to contact the official I'm reffing with for high school and the coaches for all logistical issues, things like that. Now you go to payments here. This is the ref pay tab. And so once you create your ref pay account, which we went over in a separate video, you can link it to your account here and that way games you do here when you get the green R in the schedule you are now able to be paid through ref pay so you can track that here you want to type in your username and then click add and that will link the two counts together accounts together and then after a game is complete you'll click here you'll have to the R or referee on the game which in this particular game it was me we went through and I just put in a score, 1 to 1, 0, 0. The leagues do not use this to track the outcomes of games. So you can just put in, you just have to put in two numbers at each place. Say if anything was different, rain out, cancellation, forfeit, suspended. Both officials were on time for this game, so you leave those the same. You can type in any comments here. There was an ejection in the fourth quarter, and, and you write down all pertinent information. If nothing like that happened, there were no unsportsmanlike conduct penalties, nothing like that. You don't write anything. For scheduling, you can go here and you can anticipate some blocks. So this is how I, let's say I'm not available on Sunday the 19th. So I will click on block all day, click on the 19th, and now when Grant goes to assign a game, he will see that I'm unavailable. Let's say it's the same on, on Friday the 17th. Let's say I'm available after 5 p.m. So I'll go to block part of the day, click here, 5 p.m., I'll click that and then now you'll notice a different color and that will block me for game starting before 5 p.m. And now I can go to lists. This is where all the officials contact info is. And so you can click on a particular official if you want to know what it has your address. That's used to compute mileage. So you'll want to have that accurate and it uses your zip code. There's my phone number and email if a partner needed to contact me and then we'll go up here the last one is just a profile where you update things like that so you can update your information here and save and that's a quick overview of arbitersports.com for ULA and goal officials thank you